Hi guys! In today's video we'll be making this Spider-Man doll suit inspired by the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie. I'm gonna show you how I made this suit in a method that suits any doll, so it's completely up to you which doll you decide to make this for. The doll I'll be using in this video will be this one. This is a 4 Divergent doll, but as I said you can use any doll you have. To make the pattern for this suit, I'll be using the kitchen film and tape method like I often do, covering the doll in film first and then tape. Once you got half of the doll's body in tape, now you can take a marker and start drawing out the pattern for the suit. I looked at reference pictures from the movie to see how the new suit looks like. To make sure I won't forget, I write on which color is going to be where on the pattern before I cut it away from the doll. And here's the bigger pieces cut apart. Then I cut apart the smaller ones that defines where the which color is going to be and then I draw them onto paper so they're easier to manage. Here you see the pattern for the boot, here's the pant leg, here's the torso and here's the sleeve. I made the pattern for the mask the same way and just cut out the pieces like so. I'll be working in some red and blue regular canvas fabric because it was the only ones I could find in the proper color but if you can find anything with a bit of stretch that's a good thing. I started from the bottom by making the boots, laying the pieces onto the fabric, sketching around them with fabric chalk and then cutting them out. And here are the pieces for one of the boots. Start by sewing the two longer pieces together. I pinned them together to try and sew them on my sewing machine. Once the two pieces are sewn together like a little tube, you want to sew on the what's going to be the top part of the shoe. This is a curved piece, so it's hard to do in the sewing machine, so I do it by hand. Now take the boot and put it on the doll. Now you can take the sole of the shoe and attach this to the bottom. And that's the boot part done. Next you're going to cut out the two pieces for the pant leg in blue fabric. Then you're going to take the front piece and sew this onto the front top of the boot and the back piece to the back. Next you sew down the inner and outer side of the pant leg. And that's the pant leg done. Then you want to make the other one the same way. Once you have both pant legs ready, you want to take one and fold it right sides out at the top and then tuck it into the other pant leg. This way you can sew the two pieces together easily along the curved line. After that, here's how they should look. Now you can try them on the doll to see the fit. Then you want to get your pattern pieces for the torso part ready and cut them out on the proper fabric. Once you have them ready, you want to start by sewing together the red pieces by the shoulders. Then add on the two blue side pieces. And this is what you should have. Now you're going to take the pant part, turn it right sides out and then lay the top part on top of it, going downwards and then sew the two pieces together right sides to right sides. Now the bottom and top of the suit is attached. Then you want to sew the top red shoulder part to the back blue part in each side. This will form the armhole. Next you want to cut out the pieces for the sleeves and sew them together. I kept the bottom of the sleeve a little open to make sure that the doll's hands could actually pull through. Then you take your sleeve, turn it right sides out and tuck it into the suit and then sew it in place along the edge.
Once you've attached both sleeves, you want to fold down the bottom edge by the neck and sew it in place. Then turn the whole suit right sides out. Put it on your doll and then you want to close off the back using a piece of velcro. And that's the basic suit. Then cut out your pattern pieces for the mask and sew them together. Then put it on your doll and close the back with a piece of velcro like you did the suit. And there's how to make a very basic Spider-Man suit. Finally we're gonna add the gloves. To make a foam fitted glove I mix together some liquid latex with a bit of red acrylic paint and then dab this onto the hand being sure not to get it into the joint. Once the latex is all dry, it's going to be sticky to the touch, so you're going to use some talcum, baby powder, anything like that and brush that on the surface to take away that stickiness. Then I went in with more acrylic paint and painted on the details of the gloves. If you want to remove the gloves, you can simply peel them off. Next, I went in over the whole suit using acrylic paint to paint on the details that I could see from my reference photos. If you want to keep your suit really simple, you can skip this step, but I think it adds a lot of structure to the suit. Also, since this is so small lines, I'll be using straight up acrylic paint, but if you have fabric paint, that is surely the best option. I decided to make the eyes from polymer clay to make them stand out, so I used some grey clay and rubbed it out very thinly and cut out the shape that I wanted the eyepiece to be. I used a dental tool to smooth down the top edge and make it round. Then I carefully transferred the piece onto the side of a cookie cutter and this is to give it the right curved shape to fit the head and then you want to bake it completely according to practice instructions. Once you have both eye pieces ready you want to paint them with acrylic paint. Then you can glue them in place on the mask and finish the detail painting. As a final touch I took some fake leather fabric and cut out small strips and added these around the, around the wrist of the doll for the cuffs. And here we are, our Spider-Man suit is done! I really hope you guys enjoyed this project. I'm really looking forward to watching the movie when it comes out, because it looks really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching! Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!